Hey everyone, this is Brad. I'm just going to do a quick introduction to our design and UX track that we're going to do for TIG. Um, so you can probably see my screen now and uh, you can see the hackdesign.org website up. This is going to be the main content that we file, we follow for this design course. And uh, we've come up with a rough outline of what we'd like to do over the next six months. So we're hoping that you all can join us for the first meeting, which we're going to meet next week on. Um, we're going to start with Lesson 0 and Lesson 1. So Lesson 0 is just the Hello World, and Lesson 1 is what is design and why is it important. Mm -hmm. um, we try to keep this pretty short. Lesson 0 will take a little bit of time in that it has only one item in the lesson, and that's to watch a movie called Objectified. The movie is available just about anywhere. Um, on all the streaming platforms. I watch it on Netflix. Uh, you can also get it on Amazon Prime. You can get it on iTunes or they stream it for free on their website. And I think I've seen a copy on Vimeo as well. So um, so that will take a little bit of time. I think it's about a maybe an hour and 45 minute long uh, movie, but it's very good. So we uh, highly recommend uh, you watch that before our meeting next week. And that'll get your uh, feet wet in design and get an idea of just a high level overview of what we're gonna be talking about. And then lesson one here, what is design and why is it important? There's a series of um, steps in this lesson here. All of these green links will be all of the various uh, activities that you're going to perform in lesson one. A lot of them are just uh, blog posts or short snippets. Uh, I don't anticipate this will take you more than maybe two hours total to get through all of this content. Um, probably less than that. Most of them are, are pretty short, just blog post readings. And it's really just an introduction to design, an introduction to what we're going to be talking about in this course. And um, hopefully we'll give you some some questions that you can uh, discuss in the first meeting. So um, that's the basic high level idea of what we're gonna be doing for our UX track uh, for our next meeting, lesson zero and lesson one. And I want to give a little bit of background on the track itself and give you um, what our thinking is here. It's gonna be a little bit different than our other TIG classes uh, or our TIG courses. So normally with a TIG, we would have a, a single book or a single online resource that would give us um, a framework to follow and there would be some exercises in the book or exercises online that you could do in between our meetings. With this course um, it's a little more challenging to do that. There's a, a large area that we want to cover under design and we want to get the foundations and the concepts and the theories behind design but we also want to get the practical implications of design. And we want to understand as a software developers as most of us are how we can transition that into um, good design. So we're going to be having a new mentor join us this track, uh, Greg Friedman. You've probably seen him at some of the previous meetings. And what he really wants to do is in our monthly meeting, he wants to take the concepts and the theory that we learn in between in the reading and apply that to our real world experience. So the reading uh, that we do in between our meetings is going to be mainly theory and some areas we might dive deeper on a topic than maybe you think is necessary as a developer. Uh, and then at the monthly meeting, we're going to try to put some uh, concrete examples in place. And so our plan right now is to create a single project, uh, software project, and the code and implementation is really going to be secondary. We're going to be focusing on the design and how we iterate on a design and user experience. So um, we're going to come up with what that is, and we'll, we'll share it with you during the first meeting. We'll put all of the code up into a GitHub repository that will be public, so you all can um, fork the repo and follow along with us. Uh, we can even maybe do pull requests if people have different design approaches that they want to they want to try. So um, from the hack design course beyond this week, our plan right now is to follow these high level sections you see on the right. So we have welcome and introduction will be the two sections we do um, before uh, our first meeting. We're just going to do lesson zero and lesson one. Uh, and then we're going to dive into typography and that will be the next month and then user experience the following month and we'll go on from there. User interface, graphic design principles, mobile, and interaction design. And we're going to stop at interaction design. And so that should get um, a good cross-section of the design landscape. And we'll dive into some specifics about how to use the design tools. And we'll go into a lot of theory and a lot of approaches on um, how you can approach a problem and how you apply good design principles, um, good best practices, and come up with better software. As I mentioned, we may dive into some of the tools that you use in the design landscape. By and large, we'll be following with the Adobe suite. So um, 
The best way to get that on a temporary basis, I think, is the Creative Cloud solution. So if you just Google for Adobe Creative Cloud, you'll end up on this Creative Cloud page here. Um, and you get, this is, I think, their pricing page. So I think when you go for Creative Cloud, you end up here. And then uh, you can go to the top right corner here and just say, choose a plan. And what Creative Cloud lets you do is just a monthly subscription and you get access to the Adobe products. Um, they download onto your machine. You have full access to the applications. If you're on the Mac side, you get this little logo up here. Um, and this is the Creative Cloud. You just sign in with your email address and then you get the option to download those applications. There's a bunch of different options here. I would think by and large, what we're doing is gonna be um, restricted to Photoshop. And so this photography plan here gives you Lightroom and Photoshop for 10 bucks a month. Um, that's probably good enough. Personally, I have the $50 a month. Um, I use Photoshop and Illustrator and uh, Adobe Acrobat and some of the other Adobe apps. And so for 50 bucks a month, that's a, that's a good deal for me. I don't think all of um, us developers necessarily need that subscription. Um, you could go down to the $19 a month plan and just pick one. Um, if you're going to do this, I would say pick Photoshop. And I think the difference here between the 9 and the 19 is that um, you get more features enabled in Photoshop. I think the $9 Photoshop is um, a little bit watered down. So uh, for what we're doing, I'm guessing that the $9 subscription would be enough and you, you only need it for a few months. Um, at most, probably the six months for the track and then you could always cancel it. There's no, um, there's no annual contract or anything. You just pay month to month. If you really don't want to buy Photoshop and you want to try to do some of this tooling um, in uh, a free product that's out there, um, the best free product out there for design is called GIMP. Um, it's by no means Photoshop, although it, it is very advanced. Um, we're not going to cover GIMP directly, and so if you do it this way, you're going to need to kind of translate what we cover about Photoshop into how GIMP does it but it is a layered artwork program. Um, it does let you work with raster graphics and I think there is a vector graphic package here so you can do something like Illustrator would do, um, but by and large it targets uh, the Photoshop crowd. So it lets you do raster graphic, um, photo manipulation, graphic design, um, and all done in a layered workflow. So you could give this an, uh, a chance, but I think mm -hmm. your best bet is to go with a Creative Cloud solution for uh, $9 a month. So I think that's uh, that's a good high-level overview. Again, for the first meeting, uh, we're going to be meeting um, next Wednesday, not this coming Wednesday. I'll pull up a calendar here. Not this coming Wednesday. Uh, oh, that's probably too tiny for you to see, but not the 15th, but we'll be meeting on the 22nd. And uh, come prepared to that meeting by covering uh, Lesson 0 and Lesson 1 at hackdesign.org. Lesson 0 is going to have you watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, called Objectified, and then Lesson 1 is just going to be these, um, five, uh, these five links in here. And if you click on each of these, for instance, this will take you to another web page, and this is um, basically just a blog post that has a lot of information you're going to read through. It's got um, a lot of ter terms get defined here. Um, there's a lot of, oh, it looks like an embedded video there, but a lot of terms get defined, and that we're gonna use throughout the course and then um, a lot of high level overview of what design is, what good design is and how we should be thinking about design. So like I said, the, the reading portion probably take about two hours maybe and the movie I think is about two hours as well. All right, so we hope to see you out there at TIG um, next Wednesday, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. If you can't make it in person, we'll be live streaming. You can get that information on sdtig.com. Thanks guys.